way things started in this case. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, looking for that. Yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, and especially, you know, this game, this place, you know, everyone was talking about some of the games that happened in the past, at 18 in particular. Um, and we all know we have a big game next week. So, uh, you know, some people call it trap games, some people call these you know, different games. And looking at the weather about, you know, four or five days ago, you know, you look at it and you say, kind of, Division to Northwestern last year. And, um, so, we had to have a plan for that. But I talked to the team all week about how if you want to be a championship team, you've got to be a competitive standard, you've got to be a competitive excellence, you've got to bring it every week. And that's, that's playing um, in the Big Ten. And, you know, whether it's Purdue or Northwestern or you know, Iowa or you know, some of the games in the past when we've been struggling on the road in Nebraska that one year, it's, it's playing on the road in October and November in this conference. It's not easy. And you've got to bring it. And one of the big things you have to do is you have to start fast on the road. You have to run the ball and you've got to stop the run. And you know, there was still some really good points today. Here with us, the Ward Rivals, the podcast. Ryan, what went into the red zone package with Devin and got a score out of it, also turned it over, a little bit of a mixed bag. How do you evaluate it as a part of the plan moving forward? Well, <clears throat> you know, we started off with uh, the weather, just looking at the rain, there's wind, and certainly, you know, didn't want to have the same situation that happened last year. We wanted to make sure that you know, we had a good plan. And then Devin uh, is very explosive with his feet, he's strong, he's big, he's powerful, he's athletic. We feel like he gives us a little bit of something there. Um, and he also throws the ball really well, but, but that's that's um, that's something that we you know we, we've looked at. We've been working on a little bit. We felt like this was the right time on the road to do that. Um, I think it did give us something equate equate numbers in the red zone, and, but we can't turn the ball over one yard. You know that you know, in, in, in a close game that could have been the difference. And so uh, you know Devin's doing everything for the first time, just like Kyle was doing. So I'm glad we're able to do that in this moment here and going with that. Um, it was good. He took a couple shots. So I'm sure he'll be sore. But I thought he threw a nice ball. You know, they loaded up the box. We took a shot down there to Brandon. That was good to get under his belt. You know, to, to make that throw. That was that was a big time throw. So uh, you know, we'll keep looking at it. Keep building this package. You know, and, and uh, you know, because we do feel like it gives us uh, a little bit of a different changeup. Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. I was getting comfortable win, but I don't know why I was talking just too. I yeah, so uh, I thought the first half, um, you know, overall, it came out strong. Certainly the fumble was uh, something that you know, we got, wish we had back. Um, and then the defense, man, goes, the ball goes down the two-yard line. They just keep fighting, they just keep playing with one yard line. Yeah, so um, great job. And then, then they get the penalty, and then we hang in there, and they missed the field goal. It's like, wow. Um, and, and then it started to rain a little bit, and um, second half we came out right down the field. And that was important. We wanted to come on the second half. And play well in the first drive, and we did that. Came right down the field and scored. Then there was then there was a, a kind of a point in there where you know uh, we just kind of you know flopped around a little bit. We let them go for took the foot off the accelerator a little bit, but um, certainly don't want to do that. Um, but we have played in, in four quarter games this year, so I, I don't think that's an issue. You know, there's been some times where, or one time, you know, uh, our, our starters had to been in four quarters, you know, halfway through the season. That's not the case in this situation. So um, yeah, we just got to keep pushing and keep growing, but. I feel much better about the way that we ran the ball, although you know we were down three running backs in the game, so that certainly did play uh, you know a factor in all of this. You know, that we haven't went in the game. Um, you know, we took Marvin out. You know, to Kate out a little bit of that stretch there. So um, you know, it, it was it was you know a job well done. But, but you know, like you said, there's always things we got to get better at. We're certainly a work in progress. You know, and we're we're continuing to grow and build and. We have to be at our play, best football next next Saturday. Cameron Keith Robinson, the athletic. Right, I think there's always things to get better at, but this was a defense that was pretty good. Yeah. Year. They're six games in. It seems like they can keep getting better and better. Is this the performance you you thought you might get from them? When you guys were preparing all game? You talking about our defense? Yeah. Yeah. Because I thought their defense was good too. I think they, they do some really good things. I think you know, coach, you know, really has a good plan and he's, he does a nice job. He doesn't make it easy, but. Um, but no, I, I think um, you know it starts with our with our leaders on defense. You know, there's a lot of guys who've been in a lot of battles before, so um, you know they, they got to bring it and they, they keep fighting and they make you know making teams you know get it all the way you know all the way into the end zone. You know they're fighting down the one two yard line and continue to fight like that. And that's that's a good sign. Um, I know Coach Knowles and the and co defensive coaches are going to see things they want to get better at and, and keep growing because they know the challenges are going to get bigger and bigger. So um, the issues are there. They have to be addressed on both sides of the ball, three phases. We've got to keep doing that. So, um, 
nowhere near where we need to be, but, but that's that's part of growing. You know, you want to be playing your best football at the end of the season. You find a way to go one and zero on Saturday night, and, and that's the goal. So uh, we know we got a big challenge ahead of us, and the preparation starts now. Over to the left, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. When we talked to Justin on uh, Wednesday, he talked about maybe simplifying things for his guys up front. So maybe uh, just uh, uh, looking out for more of the issues they're having. Right? But, yeah, how did you see that play out on the field today? And just to talk to you guys about it. Well, yeah, and, and when, when you know you're down Trey, you're down Mayan, and, and chips your guy, and then all of a sudden you lose him in the game. It's like, okay, how are we gonna run the ball here? So uh, we got down in there, and Dallas started running well. But I, I thought you don't know, have to look at the film, but it seemed like we were we were rocking off the ball pretty good, even though it was a pretty loaded box at times again. You know, and, and then, um, then it started to rain, and you know we started to get that, and then, then there was like two extra guys. You know, they were there bringing the safety down real low, and so it would force us to kind of push the ball down the field on a couple throws, which which is fine. Yeah, and then, and then Evan went in the game. Xavier took a couple of handoffs too, coming out of the, you know, as a receiver that could give us a little something. But we certainly didn't have, you know, three of our running backs, and that makes a big difference. So to be able to run the way we did without having three of our guys was a good sign. So you know, we really we're going to get healthy this week. Uh, Pat Murphy, twenty four seven Sports. Right, you mentioned <clears throat> running backs. Uh, down some of his chance of time to come in and kind of get into that stuff. What makes him capable of at a moment's notice being ready to step in? Yeah, I think he's got really good feet. I think he, uh, when the ball's in his hands, that's when he's at his best. And, and um, you know, he's got good vision, good quickness. And um, but, but I think to your point, it shows his mental preparation because he hasn't played a bunch this year. And um, and so to be able to go do that is uh, you know, says a lot about his preparation. And you know, the the things that we did today are things that you know are day one installation kind of plays. We had the stretch play going, we had the counter play going, and a few other things, a couple of tosses. But, uh, but, but he, he put it on the field. He took care of the ball. That's the number one thing. Um, certainly some things in protection that you know, we didn't get better at. But, um, but, but ran the ball hard, and it was good to see him step up in this moment on the road. That's a bonus of him not playing the previous four games, too, right? You have some games to burn there in case. Well, that, that was it. Yeah. You know, just in case something like this happened. We said, bomb was off. The bomb was going off today. We lost Jim. And, uh, and so. You know, hope to get everybody back for next week. Uh, but, but yeah, but that, that's why we played it out like that. Spencer Holbrook, let him go. I know offensive line is something that you have to kind of watch later to make sure that you're accurate on it. Yes. Do you feel like that's a step forward? I, you well, I hope so. I hope so. You know, I, I think they came off the field with a bunch of energy and finished off some drives, and we ran the ball harder. We got downhill, we created some play action passes where guys were open down the field. I mean, you, you felt. Uh, I felt on the sideline like they, they were, we, were, we were knocking people off the ball at times. I felt like our running backs were running hard. Um, now, whether that shows up on film, I got to go take a look at it. But like you said, you just you saw a good demeanor out there. Uh, over to the left. You talked about Sober being an offensive weapon earlier this week, and he goes out and scores two touchdowns for you guys. How does a guy like that really help the team to win? Well, he, he he does a lot for us. I've said it before. He does a lot of the dirty work for us, you know, in the run game, and then that creates play action passes. And uh, but the, the catch he had in the one on one situation. I don't know if it was a third down or a second long. It was a heck of a throw and catch. Uh, then he did a nice job, you know, kind of you know, snatching the ball quickly on the touchdown pass. The ball was kind of thrown a little bit outside of his frame. He snatched it hard with his hands. And then, and then the last one, that was a play action off of a counter play that, um, you know, when, when you're running hard and, and the defense is showing up on the line of scrimmage, you know, you, you can get open down the field uh, if, if you're blocking inside and doing all the dirty work. And that, that's really him. Uh, you know, he's a great captain. He's a weapon for us both in the run game and the pass game. And final question, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Ryan, the way Dallas ran today, the way Trey just kind of impacted the right back, you kind of mentioned off the day, but now he's got a great trick to get out of here at Elkhorn. Can you look at that and sort of just teach him now and get the game? Yeah, I think we got to look at and, and just see, you know, what that room's looking like, you know, and we'll kind of play it week to week. You know, we didn't know how the season was going to play out, but we wanted to at least have the choice to uh, be able to save as rich or possible. But, you know, uh, we'll sit down and talk if, if it's something that, you know, we got to go play and do what's best for the team. If there's opportunities to go play, then we'll go from there. Great. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks.